me interrupt the program right now to do a special birthday this morning. Goodness. Joseph Cannon, our city Aww. councilman, older brother, Billy Jr., celebrating his 41st birthday today. Happy birthday, happy Billy. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Got two pharmacies in town. Let me give him a free plug this morning since he advertises somewhere else. <laughs> town. And the other one over here. That's um, right. 72. East. East side, right? Yeah, all right. Mayor, good to have you up here this morning. Good morning to everybody. Oh, St. Paddy's Day is not for a couple more weeks. Well, I know that, but I'm reading Green Eggs and Ham this morning. Oh, are you uh, doing that today? Yeah, at Coward yes. Elementary at 8.15 and then at Brook Hill at 10.45 and Julian Newman if we have school tomorrow. And so uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. First, yeah. let's talk. Jennifer, yeah. good to have you up here. Jennifer is president of the Limestone, uh, Limestone County uh, Chamber, of Chamber of Commerce and everything. I know you don't get out early this morning a whole lot, but don't. when you do, it's always a pleasure to see you up here for the home show. Thank you for and your having assistant me. over here, Garth. He's the chairman of our Home and Garden Committee. Uh, How long have we been doing the Home and Garden Show now? Oh, 14, 15 years. Because you spent the Armory. Mm -hmm. And we outgrew that. And well, tell us a little bit about this year. Well, this year, um, it's a one-day event from 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock. Um, we have our inside exhibit space is full as well as our outside exhibit space. Um, so we've got lots of different home and garden um, exhibitors to help you with your upcoming spring projects, which I know we're all ready for spring to be here. Mm -hmm. um, demonstrations and activities for kids. And then we also have entertainment this year, a chainsaw carver uh -oh. um, out of Tennessee. He's going to be carving yeah. some things for us throughout the show just a little, just for fun. You know, the only time I've had a load of chainsaw, I've got to carve my leg up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got some other pictures of some people there. Now, is it sold out again this year? Is it hard to get in? Yes, it? our inside space is full as well as our outside space. So we Which are. Is now, is this a free event? Because I know they started charging this year at Ingalls, mm -hmm. and then I know Huntsville charges oh, too. We, we want this to be a community event, so we do not charge admission, and then we always feature um, a charity during the show, and we accept donations on their behalf, but no admission fee. To come in. Our charity this year is Learn to Read. Okay. Now, Garth, what is your participation in this being the president? Well, that means that uh, <laughs> I just. Chairman, right? Chairman. I did, I, I did, yeah, chairman. I, I, I just kind of stir up things, you know, get people to, you know, commit to getting booths and things like that. Uh, talking it up when I can. Uh, no, guess. not you. No, I, I would never do that. I've been doing it for, I guess, four or five years now or something like that. And, I, uh, I always have to tell the story the first time Garth came on our show. Was it ten years ago? Yes. Yeah, had a hand right here. <laughs> had the loudest band we've ever had in here. I couldn't understand a There's single word they metal. said. There's a YouTube heavy video. Heavy metal. Huh? There's a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, is that where it is? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's how they can see it. And Garth was giving it this, man. <laughs> he was the neighbors started calling and complaining it got so loud in here. Garth does a lot of behind the scenes work. He put up all the signs around town, um, he out hard. getting our sponsors and everything. He's, he's hard, behind the scenes. Worker. Lined up this interview. You know. Yeah, he, he's my booking agent. <laughs> yeah. I'm the, I'm all right, so it's free. It's next Friday. Right. It's one day only, though. One you? day. We've, we've had a Saturday and Sunday show, but... Um, just several of our exhibitors. Some don't participate on Sunday, and then um, crowds were just a little bit lower on Sunday, so we extended the hours on Saturday. One day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mayor, I guess you'll be there. I will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the Chili Challenge today, which, by the way, that airs tomorrow for the first time. The Chili Challenge special will be airing about 15 times here on ZTV 11, sponsored mainly by Batman right there and his new place, Park, Park place. place, and Great. lots are available there now. Uh, we missed you, Ronnie. You, I texted you. I thought you might have been sick or something. You said you came in as we were leaving. Yeah, so. I came in when you guys was leaving and stayed there until about 2.30 and saw all the awards and and uh, listened to some of the music. It was uh, The crowd was down a little, but I hope they raised a good bit of money. It's always one of the best events oh, in the community. Yeah. Yeah, Mayor, you've been kind of busy lately with the... Uh, the roads and stuff. And I got to yeah. give a shout out. I'm driving through Athens Thursday morning. We're out taking pictures early. Blue light comes on right down near your parents' house, Garth. <laughs> I'm down there. Blue light comes on. I ain't even drinking and I'm already getting stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it was the police chief and his lovely bride out checking on the road. He was stopping me 
because I didn't wave at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I was sliding around down there. But uh, <laughs> Floyd, in the, in the paper this morning, the basketball team, they did a great job with the ice a week ago, and, uh, two weeks ago, and then the snow. And you got to be so proud of the way the police department has handled things, Ronnie. I tell you what, our police department, electric department, and our public works, they did a phenomenal job. Those guys worked all night. We had City Councilman Joseph and other people out. and carrying people to warming stations at Central Church of Christ and, and uh, again, just what makes us such a great community. I mean, those guys worked all night. Mm -hmm. They ran the snow plows last week all night. We're prepared for tomorrow night if it happens. You just uh, hunker down. A lot of people said that, uh, you know, you ought to do a special day of recognition to them, but this is what our guys do. I mean, we got people when, when, uh, when the rubber meets the road, they get out there. And the electric workers, I hope this this projection of freezing rain and snow That's in the morning. tomorrow bothers me a good bit because you know oftentimes you look at power outage and and that's uh, that's tough on people. And from a city, home if you from can. a city budget standpoint, does that put us behind what, what the anticipation is, or do y'all build that in there? I hadn't uh, uh, approached the council with that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, uh, Joseph's got his ears covered, and no, it uh, it absolutely hits our budget. But we do we do prepare some of our our budget for a contingency for bad weather, and uh, just like the tornadoes hit us last year, it took a million dollars straight out of our budget. Budget. And uh, we recovered from that and still finished with a good year. So our guys work hard and ladies and, and it's, uh, you know, we'll make it through. I know she made a comment the other day that we're about to get another big business here, potentially. What is it? It's, uh, <laughs> he always loves to get it that way. <laughs> I mean, but when, it's, when uh, are we going to hear something? Spill it's, the beans. It's, uh, it's real close. I thought it would be a couple of weeks ago. They're finalizing all the paperwork Well, Joseph right already now. told me what it was. I and, yeah, uh, right. I well, and, and, uh, and so I'll let him reveal that. <laughs> So it's going to be something we're all going to be proud of. I think so. I think it's going to be a, another retail uh, restaurant development. As, uh, and you already know about the Aldi's. You know about Dunkin' Donuts and, and a couple other things. And, uh, you know, we work with a couple more industries. And it's just a, a real hot area. And it's going to stay that way now, for a while. Do you see the east side now, 72, down by 306? That, that's picking up down in that area, too. It is picking up. And there's another development of a uh, of a commercial and a uh, senior housing complex right. being looked at down there on the east side of Piney Creek by, from 306 and uh, you know that's uh, that still has not been approved by the city council but it's a uh, you know it's over a million dollars of investment and sewer run to that area and so it's uh, it's things are working what's the latest on Dan Williams condition I don't know. I talked. I talked to Dan some time ago, and he's got neighbors that talk to him. And you know, our thoughts and prayers are just still with Dan. I don't know what. I mean, I know his diagnosis, but I don't know the treatment that uh, that Dan has uh, has got. But I, you know, I just hope that it is something that he can kick. He's a fighter. Always has been, and and he'll fight this. I did tell him there's not anything any more important to him right now than his health and his family. And I hope he takes care of himself because he's loved by a lot of people. Oh, yeah, he sure is. All right, Jennifer, anything else we need to know about the home and garden? So you sending Garth up here next week or is this a one-time only deal for him? Oh, uh, we'll He's see. my agent. I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what plans are. We'll work that out with glory. Anything yeah, we'll this year, Garth, that we may have not had there in the past couple of years? Uh, the, the big thing is the, the chainsaw <laughs> carver. What's he going to carve? Uh, what, like owls and benches and He's stuff? He's going to do four carvings. Um, they each take about a, a couple hours, and then we'll be raffling those off. Is that the guy out of Fayetteville? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's got a business up there on Fayetteville on High on 64 because we mm -hmm. saw it when we were going through that way. Uh, and I believe he's the same guy that did the carving of the dog, dog. of the tree down at, uh, out there you know, the where the Coxie. tornado hit it down yeah. by S&C Grocery. And anything else we need to know, Mayor? Just I real quickly, speaking of Learn to Read and their donation to Learn to Read, Saturday morning, 10 o'clock at Athens High School lunchroom is Learn to Read Spelling Bee. And it's uh, it really is a lot of fun. I'm the timekeeper. Oh, okay. Can't spell, but, you need uh, my right and wrong buzzers. I do need. <laughs> yeah. I'll thank y'all for coming up, Ronnie. Do a great job, Jeff. Y'all do too, promoting businesses all around 14. this area too. So thank you, Jamie. Week. Thank yeah. you, Gloria. All right, I got to take a break. We'll come back talk to my movie star buddy. He ain't gonna be with us much longer for a while. He's got to go shoot a few movies. He's still trying to look for me a role. Y'all, hang on. <laughs>